time for the party! Hey there guys and welcome to another How to Farm video. Today we're going to be tackling the SMG Baby Maker that drops off Madame Von Bartlesby. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to Tundra Express and run towards this windmill up here. Now the unique thing about Baby Maker is that it actually drops off two bosses instead of the normal one. And this is because somewhere in the code someone messed up and made it so that the boss Mad Dog actually drops Baby Maker. So what you end up with is two bosses that drop Baby Maker and Mad Dog does not drop his intended legendary and now you can only get that legendary from a suitable loot source. So since there is two options, you're probably wondering which way is quicker. Well for me, I find Madame Von Bartlesby much quicker than Mad Dog. It takes me about a minute to kill Madame Von Bartlesby and it takes me about 1 minute and 30 seconds to 2 minutes to kill Mad Dog. They both require prerequisite quests, so there's no change there. Now up around the corner you're going to see Madame Von Bartlesby and I'm basically just going to use the combination of the B-Shield and my pacifying pitchfork weapon to take her out fairly quickly. And on this run I actually did not get the Baby Maker. But I wanted to note that one cool thing about farming Madame Von Bartlesby over Mad Dog is that the developer chest is right near where she spawns. So if you just jump off this little platform here and drop down, make sure not to go too far otherwise the turrets will kill you. You can see the developer chest right there. Now this is just something a little extra, something on the side that you can do right after farming her. There's no way to get back up, so make sure you do this only after you kill her. And after you get the chest, you want to make sure you save and quit, and you continue and you repeat this process. Now on this run, I actually did get the baby maker to drop, but I originally wasn't going to include this footage because you could see my health. I did go down a couple times, it was pretty sloppy, and I did kill her, and her body fell off the edge. Uh, but I actually did get the baby maker to spawn, so I decided to go ahead and roll in this footage. So let's go ahead and check out the baby maker. So you notice the variant I got is actually caustic. So this means its base stats aren't going to be as high as a normal variant, but it, that being said, it still is a pretty well-rounded SMG. It does 4,000 damage, has fairly high accuracy, and has a fairly large magazine size. However, where this weapon really excels is that it's a TUR and the weapon effect, who's a whittle gunny oney. Now basically what this means is that when you reload it and it explodes like a grenade when you throw it at an enemy, it's going to spawn a child-like grenade that also explodes for the same amount of damage. So you're actually going to see that the SMG does a significant amount of damage to these Hyperion loaders. However, I really want to highlight the reload damage aspect of it. And you can see that the reload does enough damage to one-shot most of these Hyperion loaders, especially when you combine it with the B-Shield. The reason I chose to kill, kill these loaders is because they're mostly armored enemies, so I thought this would be the most efficient use of my damage. Another good thing about the Baby Maker is that it's a really good weapon to second wind with. When you go down, it seems like a lot of enemies want to just stop and shoot at you, so you can almost always land a Baby Maker reload. So that's pretty much it for the Baby Maker. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and I put out videos pretty frequently. Or leave me a like and comment and let me know what you guys think. And thanks for watching. When you're ready to start the party, please smack Mr. Fleshstick in his bitch face.